Hi everyone, it's time for another quick video. Mind Warehouse, a channel which has about 400,000 subscribers and makes videos like, you know, five amazing things you didn't know about this, ten unbelievable stories about this. You know, yeah, yeah, I actually watched a video from what... Don't blame me, okay? I was... I, I regret it, that's why I'm making this video. This video has about 6 million views at the time I'm making this response and it's called Five Most Common Myths About Space. It gets a lot of things wrong, so let's have a look. Myth number five. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and thus the hottest one in the solar system. How is this a common myth? Who the hell believes that Mercury is hotter than Venus if you mean average temperature? If, if you don't mean average temperature, if you mean which has actually had the hottest temperature ever recorded, that would be Mercury. The distance from the sun doesn't affect the average temperature on a planet. Say what? Inverse square law? Hello? Of course you're gonna receive more intense radiation if you're closer to the source of the radiation. Mercury is indeed the closest planet to the sun, but it doesn't mean it's the hottest one. Um, this image gets the order of the planets wrong. Saturn should be further from the Sun than Jupiter. They should switch places. How do you get this wrong? I knew the orders of the planets when I was like four years old and had just, well, four or five something, and, you know, went through that phase when, you know, space is awesome. I never got out of that, but surely every kid goes through that phase. Did, how, how did you... Did you make this image yourself and get that wrong and also portray Uranus and Neptune as being smaller than or about the same size as the Earth? Which I don't get. I, I realize that it's not to scale, but at least get the relative order right. The hottest planet of the solar system is actually Venus. Its dense atmosphere, which consists of carbon dioxide and nitrogen, keeps a lot of heat. The average temperature on Venus doesn't go much below 462 degrees centigrade. Yes, indeed Mercury's average temperature is lower than that of Venus for the reason you mentioned, yes. But who believes otherwise? You're, these are supposed to be the five most common myths. Myth number four, the moon has a dark side. It does. Half of it faces away from the sun, and that side is going to be dark. But you do realize that the phrase dark side of the moon refers to the side facing away from the earth, which is always the same because they're tidally locked. So, um... It's called the dark side of the moon, not because it's not being lit by the sun, but because communications go dark. You can't communicate with something that's there because the moon is in the way. If you mean that the myth is that the moon always has the same side facing the sun, that's not a myth. No one believes that. It's just a false statement. Myth number three. The earth is round. Uh-oh. This would seem an unarguable fact. We all know from school that the Earth isn't flat. Whew. Copernicus first said this. No, Copernicus was not the first. Copernicus is known for placing the Sun in the center of our model of the solar system. The Earth has been known to be round since at least ancient Greece. That's actually a myth you could have brought up. The myth that people used to think the Earth was flat until well into the Renaissance. That's simply not true. The shape of the Earth is pretty different from the shape of a football or a billiard ball, as you might have imagined. It's more like an irregular potato or a very strange pear. The Earth is an oblate spheroid, but it's fair to call it a sphere, actually, because the difference between the polar and equatorial radii is about a third of a percent. For most applications, that's negligible. Myth number two. A human in outer space without a spacesuit will explode. From a number of Hollywood movies, we know that if you take off your spacesuit helmet, your head will immediately swell and blow up. Half a minute in outer space might not kill a healthy person. Okay, this is a pretty tough one. I'm tempted to agree with you. 
you certainly won't explode like you know in Hollywood movies, but we don't actually know exactly what the effects of exposure to the vacuum of space would be because no one has actually done any research on that subject. It's kind of hard to study for what I hope are pretty obvious reasons. Myth number one, the sun is yellow. Stars with surface temperature of 4,500 degrees C or 8,100 degrees Fahrenheit, like our sun, emit white light. No, the surface temperature of the sun is about 5,800 Kelvin or 6,100 degrees C. I don't know where you got 4,500 C from, and uh, a star of that temperature would not be white, it would be orange. The sun actually is yellow, but it's a very, very bright yellow. More like a yellowish white. What we usually refer to as a white star is actually almost bluish. The longer light waves from the yellow-red part of the spectrum pass the atmosphere of the Earth almost without loss, and the shorter green to violet waves diffract a lot. So, if you ever get the chance to look at the sun from outer space, you'll see with your own eyes that the sun is white. The reason the sun looks so white has to do with its brightness. The sun is overexposed. The reason I made this video is to sort of serve as a warning to people that, you know, when you find a channel full of these 10 amazing facts about this or 10 things you didn't know about that, uh, yeah, most of it's probably bullshit. So seriously take everything you hear on the internet with a grain of salt. Or, well, actually a lot of them. See ya.